and a special guest who is going to be joining us. The Supreme Court, remember, had sought the revamp of the allocation of oxygen across India and an audit of the delivery system. These orders had come amid a major shortage of medical oxygen across the country following a huge spike in infections that were brought about by the deadly second wave of COVID. Now, a class 5 Kerala student, Lidvana Joseph, of the Kendriya Vidyalaya in Thesur, wrote a letter to the Chief Justice of India, N.V. Ramana, thanking him for the court's orders that were passed in connection with the supply of medical oxygen. Now, this letter evoked a rather heartwarming response from none other than the Chief Justice himself. Now, Lidvana Joseph joins us along with her father. Uh, Lidvana, thank you for speaking with NDTV. Uh, what made you write this letter to the Chief Justice? Actually, I felt uh, very happy uh, uh, and very proud. Uh, um, uh, uh, they moved to the orders uh, for supply of oxygen and saved many lives. Uh, so I'm very happy now. And uh, did you also make a little drawing in that letter? Yes, ma'am. This is the drawing. This is the drawing that I have that I have made. And what is in this drawing? Can you tell us? Uh, a judge is sitting in the court, uh, and uh, and he is uh, passing the uh, order. And I can see that you've made a little. A uh, little figure of the coronavirus as well in your drawing. Yes, definitely. yes, yes, definitely. Right, and uh, and Lidvana, did you did you think that you will get a reply from the Chief Justice when you wrote this letter? Never thought. Never thought. All right, we also have Lidvana's uh, father with us. Are you uh, when when she wrote this letter, what uh, what sort of prompted her to get this idea? Did you? Uh, did you sow the seeds of the idea in her head? No, no, really, madam. Actually, she used to read the newspaper in the morning time. The newspaper she reads is Hindu. So, actually, when uh, she has a lot of news about the deaths in Delhi, actually, she got her mind, she got her mind a uh, lot of disturbed, seeing all pictures of the lining of bodies and uh, piling up the bodies and burning it out. Okay, so she shared me her experience that uh, why these people are not taking any action, why people are uh, dying because of uh, non-availability of oxygen, Papa, what is happening in India? So these are the questions she really asked me. Uh, so I told her something will come, you just wait. So in a matter of just two, three days, uh, she, we have seen, uh, rather she has read in the newspaper uh, that the Supreme Court had uh, intervened and uh, they have uh, passed the orders and uh, availability of oxygen has uh, come up and the death rate has come down. And it has given uh, Lidvina a lot of happiness. And uh, actually, I do not know why she is unable to express it now. Uh, and uh, she was uh, very happy and she was very okay. proud also about the Supreme Court. And well, uh, Lidvina, uh, well, I can tell you, uh, Lidvina, we are all very proud of you for writing this letter. And uh, I'm sure uh, that the letter did move the Chief Justice himself because he replied uh, to you. So thank you. And I hope you continue to read the newspaper every morning like your father says you do. Okay, ma'am. All right. Thank you very much for speaking with NDTV. So Lidvina, little Lidvina there, class 5 student, wrote a letter to the Chief Justice and got a reply uh, when the Supreme Court passed those orders in connection with oxygen supply. What a heartwarming story.